how would you describe the passengers that you interact with? Who, who are better passengers, male clients or female clients? Uh, I think both, but I would say female clients. Mm. They really they get excited <laughs> when they're riding with a lady. For sure they do. I mean, they're very encouraging, honestly. Yeah. And also for myself, uh, even during the day, you yeah. feel safer with a woman because I guess a woman will understand where you're coming from, you know, being that you're in a male-dominated uh, industry. So they'll feel you more, they will understand, you know, where you come from. And they'll ask you questions. I mean, yeah, don't you not feel safe? Yeah, what if something happens? They mm. want to know whether you have a family and all that yeah. and how you manage your hours. Yes, mm. yeah. Yeah, so women get more excited than men, I guess. So, yeah. Women get more excited. Yes, yes, yes. And do you feel safe? Are there moments when you have felt like uh, my safety has been compromised or there are things that I need to do in order to take care of myself? And what are those moments? Mm. Oh, yeah, um, those are very few incidences, yeah. Mm. Well, nothing lately, but yeah, I, I guess a few years back. I think I've had to, I've had to ask like three men in total, mm. and, and this is in three different instances yeah. where um, I do a kilometer and I feel this is not, <laughs> I'm getting stressed out and I quickly tell them, I'm sorry, I just have to attend to an emergency and I'll quickly stop the car and ask them to get off. And I'll, even at that point tell them, you know, you don't need to pay. Yes. So there are those moments and then I'll, I will just drive, go home and relax. Yes. Yeah. But of course, get back the following day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? <laughs> um, just my instincts. Yeah. Yes, I've, I've done this for long, so I think my aerials, I try and keep my aerials up. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, those three times I felt a bit threatened, mm. not sure. I think the last one was I took a ride at six and mm. it was going to a, a place where I thought would not be safe because, and this was before COVID, yeah. and uh, I thought by the time I got there, uh, you it would be dark, yeah. and yeah, yeah. And any time I kept looking at that mirror, there were these two guys sitting behind and they'd be looking at me with red eyes, and I just had to end the trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it was safe. I I always take precautions. So mm. maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But mm. yeah, when my guts tell me don't do this, mm. I try and listen to my guts. You said you you've done this for almost six years now. Yeah, this is my sixth year. Yes. Yeah, so what would you tell like first time drivers who are probably you know faced with scenarios like the ones you're describing? Um, the first time drivers, um, yeah, I think I'll tell them the same, to always keep your aerials up. Um, I think dress decently. I mean, uh, this is how I dress. I'm always mm. in trousers and tops. If you see me in a skirt or dress, mm. um, I'm not driving that day. Mm. So I guess those are the kind of things that, uh, you know, you don't want somebody second guessing about something. Yeah. yeah. So dress decently, I mean, keep it professional, even the talks, yeah. So that's what I, and, and first time I'll tell them to get into Uber. I mean, it's safe, it's safe. I avoid the night completely. Yes, yes, I, I don't know whether, I don't feel it's very, very safe. I know there are ladies who do it in the night, but I don't do it in the night. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, at all, at all, at all, mm -hmm. yes. Well, if you're just joining us, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Her Standards, and my name is Queen Tambori. My friends call me Queen. I am joined by a driver attached to the Uber platform. She's called Anne Kagunya. We're basically trying to exp understand what happens in her industry, what options are available for people who are probably interested in joining this industry, looking at some challenges here and there, and of course, trying to figure out some solutions uh, because this show is all about finding solutions and connecting women. We are available at KTN Home. You can also hit me up at uh, Quintambori on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, and so on. I don't know if my guest is on social media. Yes, I am. On social media. Yes. If you can, if you can face the camera and you can tell our viewers where they can find you. I know some of them would like to send in questions in real time. Yeah, so just oh go yeah. ahead. So yeah, yeah I'm on uh, Facebook as uh, Anne Kagunya and uh, on Instagram as Kagunya92. Yes. There you had yeah. it. Yeah, Anne Kagunya and Kagunya92. If you have any questions for Anne, do not hesitate to send it to, to us.